Now we're going to talk about neuroleptic malignant syndrome. This is a drug-induced hyperthermic reaction in patients taking antipsychotics. Could be typical or atypical. Uh, this could be a schizophrenic patient as well. Um, and it can also occur uh, due to an ab abrupt withdrawal of levodopa in Parkinson's patient. And I'll uh, explain you the detailed mechanisms of why uh, uh, this happened. So signs and symptoms are similar to malignant hyperthermia. You have high fever, sweating, muscle contractions and rigidity, hyperthermia, changing blood pressure, tachycardia, rhabdomyolysis, kidney failure, uh, and mental status change to name a few. Causes, uh, as I mentioned, is our uh, antipsychotics, phenothiazines, haloperidol, and they have uh, dopamine D2 receptor affinity. Mechanism. Uh, of uh, the disease is due to a uh, blockade of dopamine in dopaminergic pathways and this is uh, what basically antipsychot uh, antipsychotics do they block uh, dopamine from dopaminergic pathways to treat uh, stop causative drug cool the body give dantrolene that blocks excitation contraction coupling between T tubules and sarcoplasmic reticulum or you can also give bromocryptine, which is a do dopamine agonist, or levodopa, and also amantadine. So what are the mechanisms? How does this occur in the body? Uh, all the signs and symptoms. So uh, one is you have uh, senses and you got a, a blockage of a blockade of uh, senses and release of dopamine from substantia nigra. You have block of uh, ventral tegmental area where dopamine is released, a uh, block of dopamine uh, transmission from arcuate nucleus. So I'll uh, recommend you uh, pause this video and uh, quickly take a look uh, at Google uh, where these areas are located to get a more visual of this. So let's talk about uh, number one. So when you block sites of synthesis and release of dopamine, such as uh, substantia nigra, pars compacta, you inhibit signals to nigra striatal pathway, that is caudate nucleus and putamen, and basal ganglia that are responsible for coordinating motor movements. And that's why when you block this pathway, nigra striatal pathway, and uh, dopamine from substantia nigra pars compacta, you have extrapyramidal symptoms such as muscle, muscle uh, rigidity and inability to initiate movement. You have lip smacking and face grimacing, that is called tardive dyskinesia, uncontrolled leg or arm movements, and uh, tremors. So basically, it's kind of like Parkin Parkinsonian uh, features. Then you have when you block uh, ventral tegmental area. Dopamine signals to cortex and mesocortical uh, pathway uh, and amygdala and uh, hippocampus of limbic system, mesolimbic uh, pathways, get inhibited. So ventral tegmental, from ventral tegmental area, you have dopamine sig signals going to cortex and to the limbic system. And inhibition of those signals cause the mental status change. When you block dopamine transmission from arcuate nucleus of hypothalamus to pituitary, uh, that causes uh, elevation of uh, temperature set point and it causes impaired uh, heat loss mechanisms such as vasodilation and sweating and that leads to uh, hyperthermia. When you block tonic inhibition of sympathetic nervous system, you increase sympathoadrenal hyperactivity and uh, basically dopamine is involved in the tonic inhibition of uh, sympathetic uh, nervous system so when you block that block that d uh, dopamine you re release the inhibition uh, of sympathetic nervous system now you have more sympath sympathoadrenal hyperactivity and you have more autonomic dysfunction which causes blood pressure changes and uh, increase heart rate, increase respiratory rate. So antipsychotic drugs also increase uh, calcium release from sarcoplasmic reticulum and that causes an uh, increase in uh, muscle contractility and that further leads to hyperthermia and muscle breakdown. 
Blockade of D2 neurons from substantia nigra to striatum also inhibit uh, cholinergic uh, neurons and that stimulate inhibitory GABA neurons projecting to external global pa globus pallidus and that results in decrease in inhibition of subthalamic nucleus. Subthalamic nucleus are, uh, uh, has uh, excitatory signals uh, from there so you have increased now you have less inhibition of subthalamic nucleus that releases uh, more glutamate from the uh, subthalamic nucleus and you have more excitation going to globus pallidus internal segment which releases more GABA uh, from uh, there and inhibits thalamus and when you inhibit thalamus you have more tonic inhibition of thalamus due to this GABA from the uh, globus pallidus internal segment and more inhibition of thalamus decreases the cortical stimulation and decreases cortical output. So in short, inhibitory D2 neurons stimulate inhibitory output to thalamus causing loss of initiating motor movements. So this is how these are different mechanisms by which you see these symptoms uh, in neuroleptic malignant syndrome.